My name is Caleb Hicks. I'm a physics teacher here at Food Monument High School. I've been teaching for eight years and uh, I'm here to show you a little bit about what I do. Physics can be a really scary subject for people and a lot of people don't take it because they see stuff like this and they think, oh, physics is just a bunch of equations and memorizing those equations and math and going through all of that pain. Over here, here's some electricity and magnetism equations that are pretty scary for students. What I try and do is take this stuff and show them how physics really is all real world stuff. And that's actually the reality of it. So they do walk out of here knowing how to use these formulas and how to plug in numbers and do the math. But we do some cool stuff along the way. So for example, when we study fluids, one of the things we do with the force of buoyancy is the kids get to build a boat. And that boat can only be made out of cardboard and tape. They get to put two people in the boat and they get to race it down the pool and back. And they have a lot of fun with it. We don't actually need any class time to do it. The kids have little boat building parties outside of class. And I really see their individual creativity come out in this project because everybody's boat turns out different. I'll have one group that'll build like a really skinny, fast, sleek boat that'll cut through the water well, and then I'll have other groups that build these really big boats, and those ones float really well. So um, I really enjoy seeing how each student takes the project in a different direction and really comes up with a, with a personalized product. I'll show you another project that we work on during the year. Over here we've got a fake storefront where the kids can come and buy stuff. Um, it's a competition to see who can build the battery that measures the greatest voltage. Our um, record voltage is actually 13 volts. So what they do is they get, they get this sheet of money and they're called Volteros and they get to come spend these at the store. First day of the lab, all they do is they plan their projects. So I don't tell them how to make a battery or what to connect where, what to mix up. They've got to actually go and research that all on their own. Then the second day of class, they actually get to come and spend the money. And they got to spend it wisely because they run out very quickly. And it really mixes principles of what, they, what they're learning about business and economics in with science and they get to see how when something's built there's limitations on how much money you have, what supplies you can use. Um, again, I see the individual creativity really come out in the differences between everybody's final project. One more thing I'll show you. Um, I notice as the year goes by, certain students really like certain units of physics more than other units and I kind of pay attention to, oh, these kids over here really liked it when we talked about sound. These kids over here really liked it when we were talking about springs and, or electricity or whatever unit it is. And so they get to do a project based on their favorite unit of physics. And I kind of help push them in different directions. I had a group who was into music and sound waves, so they built this device called the Rubens tube and you hook a speaker up to this end and it plays sound waves through the tube based on what music's playing or what tone is being played you'll see a different height in the flame so this is all hooked up to gas and there's actually gas in this tube and it makes this cool flame pattern the group that made this actually was able to figure out the speed of sound by looking at the pattern of the wave on the on the sound generator so I get to sit in the back of the class while the kids are up here explaining their projects. All right, so this is our project, the Rubens tube. At the end of the class, they have something to show for themselves of something they made or studied that they were most interested in in the class. And it's one of the most rewarding things that I get to see at the end of the year because the students really get into it. And I get to sit in the back and watch them teach the class about their project and the physics that they came away with.